If you're an Android app developer, you've probably heard about shortcuts. They give your users the ability to jump into a specific place in your app to save a couple of navigation taps when they've got a specific goal in mind. Shortcuts are great for a wide variety of use cases. Seeing a list of recent transactions for a shopping app or pulling up a list of your favorite pizza orders or YouTube subscriptions. Let's go over a different kind of shortcut. We call them dynamic shortcuts. These are shortcuts which let users jump into your app to a personalized place or bit of content based on their past actions. The primary thing that sets dynamic shortcuts apart is that they're specific to the person using the app. For example, if you're building a note-taking app, you might push dynamic shortcuts based on the given names of the notes that your users create. This is notably different from static shortcuts. Static shortcuts apply to all users of your app, and you must declare them all in the shortcuts XML resource bundled with your app while dynamic shortcuts are created based on user behavior at runtime. If you wanted to create a shortcut to the most recent note that the user created in your app, that's a good choice for a static shortcut, as that sort of functionality would apply to all of your users. Your app just has to determine which note the last one is. But you'd use a dynamic shortcut to launch the app into a specific note, perhaps determined by its name. A shortcut to a note named birthday gift ideas for Natalie is obviously specific to the individual who created it previously. This is a good choice for a dynamic shortcut, which you could create at runtime when the user interacts with the note. Google Assistant can use both types of shortcuts to enable a voice-driven launch of the app. For dynamic shortcuts, we call that pushing shortcuts to Assistant. Once a shortcut is associated with a built-in intent and pushed, Assistant will remember it so the user can make use of it later with a voice command. Let's take a look at another scenario and some of the ways that dynamic shortcuts work with Assistant. I'm a runner. Well, an aspiring runner, at least. I'm just getting back into running after a long time away, and I've created a workout plan in my favorite fitness app to get me ready to run a half marathon here in a few months. The fitness app I use lets me save GPS plans for individual runs of varying lengths, which I use when I'm running to hit my goals. This is a great place to use dynamic shortcuts. As I save a new planned run in the app, the app can push a dynamic shortcut for that plan, link it to the Start Exercise BII, and provide the name of the plan that I created. After that, I'll be able to tell Assistant, hey Google, start a 5K flat on RunDude, and it will deliver an Android intent that the app can use in the running plan with the same name. Later on, if I want to update the title for any of those running plans, RunDude can update the dynamic shortcuts to reflect that. It can also create more as I add new, challenging runs to my workout plan, or remove shortcuts if I no longer need those routes in my training plan. Super cool. As apps push shortcuts to Assistant, Assistant can build up some intelligence about how an individual user uses the device and the apps installed on it. Assistant can use this to offer up suggestions for queries that might be relevant to the user at any given point in time. You can observe these suggestion chips in the Assistant UI as it's listening. It's a good idea to push dynamic shortcuts for each behavior that can be linked to a BII that your app handles. This gives Assistant more smarts to provide helpful suggestions. How cool is that? Suddenly, my Assistant is offering suggestions based on my running plans and in-app behavior. With this kind of help, I'll be crossing the finish line of that half marathon soon enough. So armed with a better understanding of what you might use dynamic shortcuts for, let's talk about how to actually add them to your app. For starters, all dynamic shortcuts must be associated with a BII capability defined in your app. Check out our built-in intent reference to find a list of the speech models that Assistant can recognize. In this case, I'll use the BII called Get Exercise Plan to set up shortcuts for the fitness app that respond to queries such as Find 5K Flat Run in RunDude. We're going to provide a value used for the BII parameter ExercisePlan.name as a part of the configuration of our dynamic shortcut. The name of the run that the user provided, 5k flat, will be the value. You'll need two things in order to make Assistant aware of your dynamic shortcuts. Firstly, you'll need to add two Jetpack modules to your app. The Jetpack core library has the Shortcut Manager compatibility APIs that you'll use to compose and push a dynamic shortcut. You might already have this in your app, but be sure to make sure that you've got version 1.6.0 or later. You'll also need the Google Shortcuts integration library. This lets Assistant listen in on the changes to dynamic shortcuts that you make using the Shortcut Manager API. You should follow the instructions and the documentation to get these added to your app. You'll need to have a BII capability configured in your shortcuts.xml. This lets Assistant know which types of voice queries your app can handle. Here, I already have a shortcuts.xml file added to my app and registered in its manifest. 
Adding the get exercise plan capability tells Assistant that my app can handle queries that follow the speech patterns shown in the BII docs. We're almost there. Now we just have to add code to actually push a dynamic shortcut within our app. We'll want to put this code in a place that indicates that the user has just interacted with the exercise plan, perhaps either newly creating it or navigating to it. Every app will be different in this respect. Right here is where we're plumbing up the dynamic part. By passing our user's given plan name into the shortcut configuration, we're telling Assistant the words to look for when the user speaks them aloud in a query. This line actually pushes the shortcut to Assistant. Keep in mind that the Shortcut Manager APIs for dealing with dynamic shortcuts are all blocking synchronous APIs. You should only call them from a background thread or coroutine and never the main thread. And that's all there is to it. Pretty neat. Now when athletes save a route plan in RunDude, we push a dynamic shortcut to Assistant with their custom route plan name, which means they can ask for it with a voice command at any time. And that's it, a quick primer on dynamic shortcuts for Assistant. We've also got more great content on the Google Developers YouTube channel. Be sure to join our dev community on Reddit, where you can chat with other actions on Google Devs and stay up to date by following us on Twitter. I'm Mike Bifulco, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see what you build.